this. Okay, like this. Oh yeah, George Carlin, the Twitch chat has voted for you to run for president. What is your rally, you know, your introduction? Let's go. Well, 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 look who finally got their heads out of their asses and decided to vote for someone who tells it like it is. You know, I never thought I'd run for president because dealing with all these political assholes gives me heart attacks. But I'm willing to put up with the bullshit if you think I'm the man for the job. So let's make America great again. Except this time, let's make it really fucking great without all the dumbass politicians and their bullshit. You guys can ask questions, by the way, in the chat to, uh, you know, to presidential candidate George Carlin for 2024. Ask questions in the chat. Uh, after the 10 minutes is over, uh, we will go to the next format. So we got Grab Cock says, George Carlin, why haven't you fired your campaign manager? <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. Okay. George Carlin, can you talk about the new law you're going to introduce that gives every citizen a free pony? Well, it's fucking simple, isn't it? Every American deserves a pony because why the hell not? Sure, we can't fix the broken healthcare system, but God forbid we deny someone their majestic pony. And let's face it, with this government, you're probably better off trusting a pony to handle the country's problems than any of these corporate cocksuckers. So saddle up, motherfuckers. It's pony time. Try hard nine, uh, six, nine, four, twenty. George Carlin, can you roast Sleepy Joe? Oh, I'd love to roast Sleepy Joe. The man falls asleep more than a narcoleptic sloth in a boring lecture. He's the human equivalent of a lullaby. But hey, I guess it makes sense. Because with him at the helm, our country's going to be napping for the next four years. Let's hope he doesn't snore too much or we're all in trouble. Evil MNK for George Carlin, how would you fix the U.S. healthcare system? Oh, you want me to fix the U.S. healthcare system? Good luck with that, pal. It's like trying to put a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound. First, we need to take it out of the greedy hands of the pharmaceutical and insurance companies. I mean, these cocksuckers charge an arm and a leg for basic medication and procedures. And why is it that we're the only country in the world that can't provide health care for all its citizens? Maybe we need to cut back on the military spending and start prioritizing the well-being of our own people. But hey, what do I know? I'm just an old fuck with a microphone. Saruman, George Carlin, will you legalize schlongs? Oh, for fuck's sake. What the hell are you talking about, you degenerate cocksucker? Legalize schlongs? Are you kidding me? You know what's legal? Putting your head up your ass and walking around like it's perfectly normal. Maybe you should just stick to that. Knife Life 69, George Carlin, can you show us your tax returns? Why the fuck would I show you my tax return? You think I'm some kind of fucking politician? Listen, if you want to have a good time, go count the number of fucks I give about showing you my tax return. Spoiler alert, it's a big fucking zero. Kuvian, George Carlin, are you going to ban furries? Well, first, let me tell you something, pal. If these furries want to dress up like a bunch of horny woodland creatures, that's their business. But if they start trying to hump my leg, then we've got a problem. I'm all for free expression, but some things should be kept behind closed doors. And if they're going to be out in public, they better have a fucking good vacuum cleaner to clean up all those stray pubes. 
Sea Turtle Man, George Carlin, I know you're running for president of the US, but what will you do to help us Aussies out with our emu problem? Well, first of all, why the fuck are there so many emus in Australia? I mean, did they forget to build a fucking wall? And what's with all the giant birds? Are you guys compensating for something? But to answer your question, let me tell you, I don't give a rat's ass about the emu problem in Australia. I'm too busy dealing with the human-sized turkeys in Washington, D.C. to worry about your oversized chickens down under. Cynical Dolphin, George Carlin, what will be your policies on the internet uh, censorship? Well, first of all, I don't believe in censorship on the internet or anywhere else. The internet is like a big, juicy, ripe fruit just waiting for us to take a bite. And if you're going to bite, you might as well bite hard, balls deep, and go all in. Because if we start censoring the internet, we might as well start jizzing on the Constitution and wiping our asses with the Bill of Rights. That kind of shit stinks worse than a three-day-old burrito. So fuck censorship. It's for the birds. George Carlin, will you reveal the truth about aliens to us? Oh, aliens? You mean the little green guys who fly around in spaceships collecting anal samples? Sorry, I can't tell you the truth about that because I'm afraid the anal probe might come my way next. But one thing's for sure, if aliens come to Earth, they're going to look at us and say these guys are idiots. Radikins, George Carlin, now that you are president, will you finally outlaw anime and fix the weebs? First of all, let me just say that becoming president of this shit show is the last thing I want on my resume. But since I'm here, let me address your question. Outlaw anime. What are you, a goddamn Philistine? Anime is one of the few good things the Japanese have given us besides sushi and tentacle porn. And as for fixing the weebs, have you looked in the goddamn mirror lately? You're beyond repair, buddy. Just embrace your inner weirdo and ride the anime train to its inevitable crash and burn. Mega root, George Carlin, what is your opinion on gun control? Oh, gun control. You mean the thing that's as effective as a fucking umbrella in a hurricane? Look, people kill people, not guns. Guns are just metal and plastic. They don't have the power to do anything by themselves. But I guess it's easier to blame an inanimate object than to address the root causes of violence. And let's not forget that the Second Amendment was written in a time when the most advanced firearm was probably a musket. So maybe instead of arguing about gun control, we should be discussing mental health, poverty and education. But hey, what do I know? I'm just an old fuck who's been dead for years. Oh my God. Did you guys hear what you just said? Um, Ray Darino, George Carlin, if you built the wall, will Mexico pay for it? Are you fucking kidding me? Of course not. Our government can barely figure out how to use a goddamn stapler, let alone get a whole other country to pay for our stupid wall idea. And let's be real, that wall ain't gonna do shit to stop drugs or illegal immigration. The only thing it's good for is giving some politicians a hard-on for bragging rights. So, in summary, the wall idea is bullshit, and so is the idea that Mexico will pay for it. By the way, um... The timer is about to run out, right? Um, what people can basically do is they can, but the, the, the system is not in place yet, but that's what we're planning on doing. It's like people can vote to extend the show or to skip it. And the way it works is extend will add half a minute, skip will deduce a minute, and every person can vote once. So that's the idea. I see quite some people say extend. Um, So I'll, I'll do a little bit longer, but I, I don't think it's working right now to skip and extend, but that's pretty much the feature that we want to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a few more questions here. Um, what I do want to do though, and I'm going to do this very fast now, I know it's really ghetto fuck shit. Um, let me see if this is working. Can you guys vote on who should be on the Joe Rogan podcast next? Can you guys vote for that? Because the next show, because right now you guys see the rally, right? The next show is going to be the Joe Rogan podcast, as you guys can see. So I'm going to start here. Who do you guys want to be on the show? On the Joe Rogan podcast. Wait, this is, this is clearly, this is clearly uh, Forsen. So I'm going to be uh, doing some more questions here. 
And um, while I'm doing that, uh, once these questions are done, we will go to the next show, which is uh, the Joe Rogan uh, satire parody show with uh, Forsen as a guest. Uh, Munjarak, George Carlin, what are your thoughts about anarcho-syndicalism? Anarcho-syndicalism? What the fuck is that? Is that where a bunch of union assholes get together and jerk each other off while they try and overthrow the government? Yeah, good luck with that shit. It's just another way for idiots to pretend like they know what the fuck they're talking about. Bottom line is, no matter how you slice it, humanity is screwed. I really like this guy. <laughs> oh my God. Asahi Samau, George Carlin, what is the new set of laws you are going to make now? Well, my new set of laws would include making it illegal for stupid people to breed, punishable by castration. I would also make it illegal for anyone to use the phrase, it's just common sense, without providing actual logical reasoning. And finally, I would require every politician to wear a clown nose while they speak, to better reflect their true nature. Celartina, George Carlin, what do you think about VTubers and cat girls? Oh, boy. Don't get me started on these freaks. VTubers and cat girls are just another example of the absurdity that society has reached. People will do anything for attention, including pretending to be an anime character or dressing up like a furry. It's enough to make your head spin. And don't even get me started on the creeps who are obsessed with them. These guys need to get a life and a girlfriend, or at least a hobby that doesn't involve watching animated girls all day. Saruman, George Carlin, will you help finance my Schlong Turbator Turbo 3000? Well, hot damn, looks like we found ourselves a real visionary here, folks. Not only is this guy perverted, he's also got big dreams. And let me tell you, that combination is a real winner. I'm not sure what's more impressive, the Schlong Turbator or the Turbo 3000. Either one of those on their own would be a damn fine piece of machinery. But together, it's like the gods of Dick decided to bestow upon us mortals the ultimate sex machine. So no, I won't be financing your Schlong Turbator Turbo 3000, but I will be giving you a standing ovation for your sheer audacity. Bravo, my friend. Bravo. Orange Code. George Carlin, who is your running mate? Well, I was thinking of selecting a chimpanzee with a better understanding of American politics than any politician out there. But then I realized that most of the politicians already look and act like the monkeys at the zoo, so why bother? Maybe I'll choose an AI as my running mate. At least it doesn't have a fat ass, a bad comb over, or any other signs of being a typical politician. But who knows, I might still end up running solo because every time I find someone who's actually intelligent and honest enough to be my running mate, they turn out to be smart enough to avoid American politics like the plague. Knife Life 69, George Carlin, will you ban microtransactions in video games? Well, look at this question over here. How about we start banning stupidity instead? Let's start by banning the assholes who thought it was a good idea to charge people for pixelated hats and weapons in video games. It's bullshit. You know what's a real microtransaction? A quarter for a gumball. That's all we need in our video games. None of this greedy, money-grubbing crap. Ha ha ha. George Carlin, who is your favorite president of all time? Well, let me see. Which one of those cocksuckers was my favorite? Ah, yes, I remember now. My favorite president is none of the above because every single one of those assholes is the same as the last. They all want power, money, and to shove their heads up each other's asses. You know who my favorite president is? The one that hasn't been born yet because the current crop of politicians are all a bunch of shitheads. Cross, George Carlin, can you legalize gladiator of fighting to the death like the good old days? Legalizing gladiatorial fighting to the death? Are you fucking kidding me? These are humans we're talking about, not goddamn animals. What's next? We bring back crucifixion? Give me a fucking break. Whoever came up with that idea should be punched in the dick. Cynical Dolphin, George Carlin, how will you balance the budget? Well, 
First of all, I'd start by getting rid of all the greedy, blood-sucking leeches in Congress who are more interested in lining their own pockets than actually doing their damn job. And let's not forget about those corporate assholes who are more concerned with their bottom line than the well-being of the people. I'd also suggest cutting funding for unnecessary bullshit like building giant walls and funding wars that make no damn sense. Oh, and let's tax the shit out of those billionaires who have more money than they could ever possibly spend in a lifetime. That should do it. Robot Chicken, George Carlin, will you reveal who really killed JFK? Oh, sure. Let me just check my files of conspiracy theories and see if I have an answer for you, you naive fucking idiot. Do you honestly think anyone knows who killed Kennedy? Maybe it was Elvis or Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster, or maybe it was just some random asshole with a gun. Who knows? But one thing's for sure. It definitely wasn't the government. They're way too incompetent to pull off a conspiracy that big. Alkil Halid asks, that's the last question for the show for this one. Then we go to the next one. George Carlin, how many dollars is enough to bribe you? Bribe me. Ha! You must have me confused with a corrupt politician or a corporate sellout. I don't take bribes. I take down the corrupt system with my razor-sharp wit and scathing critiques. The only thing you could bribe me with is a time machine so I could go back in time and slap some sense into your parents before they birth someone as stupid as you. Oh, my God. This is so... <laughs> this is 